Hello Fighters, Russ Merrow here and today we are going to be opening a box of Vilas Deleter. Alright, 16 packs, let's go. So this set together with today's newly released uh, trial deck Ibuki Koji finally bring the much awaited Link Joker clan to the Vanguard V series which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been looking forward to including myself. So am I hoping to get the Link Joker cards? Definitely. Now let's see what we get in our very first pack. Alright, and we are starting off with a Pale Moon Rare, Nightmare Doll Edith. Edith. And okay! Wow, we are starting off right off immediately, and I was actually planning to talk about this card uh, when we made it to the second pack, but I guess I'll talk about it now. Anyway, our first triple rare from Link Joker is going to be Squall Shield Dragon. Now, the reason why I'm so hyped about this card is that actually, uh, even though I want the Link Joker cards, for the actual boss, I wanted to pull Squall Shield instead of the actual pack card, the actual like VR, which is Waving Deleter Great All. Because Squall Shield is actually the very first Link Joker boss that I ever used in the original Vanguard V series. Like, I've always loved his design and I really like the other Link Joker dragons that came after as well, including Nebula Lord and Chaos Breaker. I mean, I pretty much love all of the Cyber Dragon designs, but to me, the best will always be Squall Shield Dragon. Anyway, let's just get into his effect. Once per turn on Vanguard, you can counter blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and bind it face down. So, typical uh, New Link Joker style. On Vanguard, you can counter blast one and soul blast a grade 3. If you do, turn all of the cards in your opponent's bind zone face up, and until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent cannot normal call cards that have the same name as the cards that are in his bind zone. So. I really like how this effect sort of supplements for the restrictive powers of Squash Shield's original triangle lock, but then sort of remixes it in a way that allows you to have that sort of same kind of lock and restriction, but in a format where Link Joker doesn't have their own lock mechanic. So I'm quite a big fan of it. I honestly don't think it's that devastating, but I still think it's a very cool and interesting effect. And of course, when when you use it really in the late game, which is most likely the case since you'll need to Soul Blast a Grade 3 for it, most likely you will have accumulated a lot of cards in your opponent's bind zone. So if you play your cards right that turn and basically get rid of your opponent's rear guards, they basically can't fill up for the following turn. And also do take note that this effect and the restriction on calling also applies to cards that are added to the opponent's bind zone after you activate Squash Shield's effect. So let's say it's your turn and then you activate Squash Shield's effect to turn all of the opponent's cards in their bind zone face up and then after that you somehow get another face up card in your opponent's bind zone. That card will also be subject to the binding restriction as well, so do take note of that. But of course if you use your other Link Joker cards to do their normal face down binding, those cards won't be turned uh, face up. So those cards, uh, if they are new, won't be able to enter the whole uh, normal call restriction, so just take note of that. Alright, and we are moving on to the second pack with a very nice first start. And alright, our next rare is going to be Gravity Ball Dragon. Oh, I know this card, isn't this is from the Squash Shield family, like originally. And here we have Shadow, Bra Shadow Blaze Dragon from Shadow Paladin, a rare. Alright, so oh that is nice, but I guess they are not a uh, chain right anymore. Alright, the next time I get like one of the one of the cards from Squash Shields, the chain right sequence, I'll check if they are still a chain right, but I doubt they are because they, they they've kind of like I mean they don't use the chain right mechanic anymore in the V series. And here we have a uh, Link Joker rare, the Ill Fate Deleter Drown, followed by another Shadow Paladin rare, Knight of Fighting Spirit Dordona. Alright, and yep, vanillas and triggers always at the end. Alright, so since I already pulled Squall Shield, I guess all I really have to do now is hope that I get Greedol as my VR, or hopefully, uh, if you guys didn't know, there's actually a new rarity in this set. We have Delete Rares as well as uh, Vanguard Delete Rares, so here's hoping I get one of those special Delete Rares as well. I'm really, I really hope to see one in real life. And here we have a Dark Irregular, the Death Demonic Duke Ball. Followed by, it looks like another Link Joker foil. This time it's gonna be a double rare though and a great two. Hailing Deleter Elro. 
On rear guard, when this unit's attack hits a vanguard, if you have a healing deleter L bar on your rear guard circle, you can counter blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and bind it face down. While this card is in the drop zone, if you place a healing deleter L bar on one of your rear guard circles, you can counter blast one and then superior call this unit from the drop zone. So I guess now we know why it's called the Hailing Deleter, because they work in a double combi like that. Although I was really not expecting to see such a combination in Deleter, but that's pretty cool. But I'm not too sure how much you benefit off of it. Like for the first effect, I was thinking that if the condition is to have Elba on your rear guard circle, shouldn't they just make it free then for like the free bind? But having to still counter blast one, I don't know, it's still like a bit pointless to me. Anyway, next we have a Murakumo rare. Stealthine Rainy Madam. Follow- Oh! Sh okay! Alright, so we didn't manage to get a Link Joker as our VR, but I mean, I guess Shadow Paladin is the second best. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Shadow, and here we have Gust Blaster Drag. On Vanguard, when this unit attacks, you can counter blast one and retire two of your rear guards. If you do, Draw one card, your opponent must choose one of their rear guards and retire it. And during this turn, this unit gets power plus 10k. So, not as devastating as I would have expected it to be, but I mean, I, I, I think uh, that's still a good thing because it's quite balanced and it still stays true to like the original Shadow Paladin style from the original series. On Vanguard, when your rear guard is retired, if you have a Great 3 Blaster in your soul during this turn, this unit gets critical plus 1. Okay, let me take back everything I just said about its first effect because in conjunction with the second effect you do get the sort of destructive prowess that we used to see with like a uh, Phantom Blaster Dragon and Phantom Blaster Overlord although what I'm not sure about the second effect is does it activate for each rearguard triggered because that would mean he's attacking with a critical of 3 every time he activates his first effect so I, it does not specify in the card text whether it's per rear guard or per instance of rear guard or rear guards being retired so if any one of you guys are clear about that ruling please uh, post it in the comment section down below so that I can pin it and the other people can see alright and here we have a link joker rare looting deleter Garnock followed by a great three pale moon barking dragon tamer okay I was wondering where the tamer was because all I see is a dragon but it looks like she's just up over here alright and here we've got another creepy looking deleter down to two packs in our first deck. We've already got our VR, so I guess that's no more. Uh, uh, too bad that I didn't manage to get one of the new uh, Delete Rares. Although, I think they did mention that you have a chance of getting a special pack which contains like six Delete Rares. So, I guess there's still a chance. Alright, and here we have Gravity Collapse Dragon from Link Joker. Let me just quickly check the... On Vanguard and Rearguard, when this unit's attack hits a Vanguard, look at the top five cards of your deck. Search for up to one Grade 3 Cyber Dragon from among them and either ride or call it as rest to the circle where this unit is. After that, shuffle your deck. So wow, it's not exactly a chain ride, but it still remains faithful to the mechanic. And wait, why is this card so sparkly? Alright, it's just a triple rare. I have no idea why it's so sparkly. And here we have a Howl Owl. Alright, and here we have a triple rare from Link Joker, really getting lucky with all of those Link Joker cards. The one who opens the black gate. When placed on rear guard, if your opponent has two or less rear guards, you can soul blast one. Look at the top two guards of your deck and call up to one unit to rear guard that is either of equivalent or lower grade to your opponent's vanguard. Then place the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck. So uh, just a typical search, I guess, letting you get that superior call for Link Joker, which might net you a useful card that can help you bind the opponent's field further as well. Alright, but overall, uh, I don't think it's uh, too powerful, but I guess uh, getting the extra resource can be nice for Link Joker, because I don't think they have that many like uh, draw sources. And up next, we have a rare for Murakumo, the Stealthine Jakutsu Girl. Followed by a draw trigger perfect guard for Link Joker. Wow, didn't really recognize it at first. The flower that blooms in the vacuum, Cosmo Reef. Alright, and yep, just triggers. Continuing on. Alright. Okay, looks like we've got full bow. And our next rare is going to be one from Murakumo, Stealth Dragon Hitsumetsu Blazer. Followed by one from Dark Irregulars, Dark Soul Conductor. Alright, and yep, just the commons behind 
I feel like I'm seeing a lot of repeats of like uh how do I put this? Like for the other clans, Murakumo, uh Murakumo, Dark Irregulars, Pale Moon and Shadow Paladin, I feel like they are full bow here. We are seeing the great zeros that have already been printed before. Like I think the great zeros are just reprints. So they're not inventing new like triggers or starting vanguards for the already previously released clans. And anyway, here we have a Dark Irregulars, a rare, Alluring Succubus, followed by a Great 3 Link Joker rare, Penetrate Deleter Iggy, and just a shout out to its awesome design. Like, you can really see this card being a boss. Alright. And on to the next pack. Alright, so we've already seen our VRs and I believe two triple rares, so we probably only have like I think one more triple rare to go but probably a lot of double rares because I don't think we've pulled many double rares so far okay and here we have a uh, pale moon nightmare doll Rhoda followed by oh wait master of five element right yup looks like I remember this card's name correctly back from the link joker arc anyway let's check out his brand new v-series effect on Vanguard, when this unit attacks, if you have 15 or more cards in your soul, you can move all of the cards in your hand and soul to the drop zone. And if you do, stand all of your units. So, okay, I was not really expecting a full stand effect for Master of Fifth Element. If I'm not wrong, was he... No, he wasn't the break right for Dark Irregulars back then. That was King of Mars to Dantaria, if I'm not wrong. And... I think back then, like, our uh, 5 elements was also another, uh, was also double rare, but like an alternate boss to Amon, Amon Reverse. Anyway, here we have another Stealth Dragon, Hitsu Metsu Blazer, followed by a Pale Moon Great 1. It's looking really creepy. When this unit is placed on Rear Guard from the Soul, you can retire 2 of your Rear Guards that are at rest. If you do, Soul Charge 2 and draw 1 card. So, I guess it's a pretty nice uh, utility card to play in the middle of the battle. It would be nice to like ride into him as your Oh but his, his I just noticed that his power is incredibly low, it's just power plus 5k, but I guess you are getting quite a lot off him. Alright. And now our Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I think that was a foil. Anyway, here we have another copy of Nightmare Doll Edis. And yes, it was this time a Murakumo Grade 3 Stealth Fiend Morotessa Villain. On Vanguard and Rear Guard, when this unit's attack fail to hit, if you have 3 or more Rear Guards, you can Counter Blast 1. Search your deck for up to 1 card that has the same name as one of your units, reveal it to your opponent and add it to your hand. After that, shuffle your deck. Overall, very not impressed with that effect, but I don't know. I don't really... Overall, I'm not too much of a fan of playing XL clans, although I did uh, try out a Nova Grappler at the start because the very first uh, SVR I managed to pull was a Perfect Riser, so that's how I sort of started off into it. But generally, I find that the XL clans don't really fit my style. Another Gravity Collapse Dragon and Stealthy Rainy Madam. Alright, now we're down to our final two packs. I guess we still have a chance to get that special pack with all of the delete rares inside, but we shall see. Alright. Oh, here, Micro Hole Draco Kid. Very nice to know that you can use him as a starting vanguard, because I definitely would choose him over the deleter. And Dark Soul Conductor Rare, we already saw this one, and it looks like this is going to be our final triple rare, and it's going to be Dark Bond Trumpeteer, another very old and familiar Shadow Paladin card. When placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, you can Counter Blast 1. Search your deck for up to 1 unit with 5,000 power. Call it to a Rearguard Circle as Rest and shuffle your deck. On Vanguard and Rearguard, when you place a Rearguard with 5,000 power, during this turn, this unit gets power plus 3k. So, the first effect is very akin to its original effect, but it's nice to know that he gets an additional boost off of it now. Alright, and now our final pack. Okay. Well, judging from the look of it, it looks like we did not get the special Delete Rare pack. But let's just see what we get anyway. And first, we have a brand new rare that we didn't pull so far from Pale Moon. Visible Songster. And ending off with a double rare from Murakumo, Stealth Fiend Midnight Crow. When this card is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard from your hand, you can Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. If you do, search your deck for up to one card that has the same name as your Vanguard, 
call it to a rear guard circle and shuffle your deck. Okay, now that's not too bad. It's a pretty nice and interesting effect. And there we go, that's our final pack. As for our obligatory gift markers, we got King of Mars to Dantarian for Protect. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and let me know what you guys think about these brand new cards, especially the Link Joker ones, in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more Vanguard V-Series product openings on the day of release. Our next release is going to be a trial deck on the 14th of February, which will bring the Bermuda Triangle Clan to the V-Series. And with that, hope to see you guys in the next Vanguard video. The tears that we cry just won't, just won't. We'll never fade, doesn't matter